Hello YouTube, Jarbricks here with another mock modular. Here it is. As you can see, it's a corner mock and originally uh, got the idea for the extreme sports shop from getting this set here, 60203. Uh, got some nice cool stuff that I wanted to integrate into the building, which I have. Um, and also I wanted to put a climbing wall on the outside of the building. Uh, so let me show you the insides. So as an overview, here we have it. So we've got the shop on the ground floor. Uh, I wanted to keep this log effect that I, I like that on the um, actual building it came with in the set. Um, using these blue tiles on the side just to extend the blue theme and just making it a little bit wider in general so going round we have the climbing wall I, uh, I, I was going to do the climbing wall just off um, a, a plate here and just have all of these little studs coming off it and um, I saw that in a set I got uh, oh, it was a creator set um, that came with a skateboard house and had a small one like that but I just thought it was a little bit too basic and I wanted to put a bit more detail on it so I used bricks and slopes to get that effect and we've got all of the uh, people let me get this light from over there there we go and um, we've got all the uh, people queuing up we've got some guys that have bought some sports equipment and uh, uh, just got the TV on the wall there and then here I've just done the flower shop so we're using this teal color from the birch books house um, I just thought I'd make it a flower shop As I did I had bought um, the assembly square set not too long ago and I bought it plainly for parts so I thought I'd use uh, like the, the rose or tulip, whatever it is, uh, on the outside. And I've just put a few bits on the outside just to decorate it. Um, and then going round. And here we've got some apartments. And I've just um, used brown and beige flowers and things like that just to ones that they've binned because they've died so they're not selling them and uh, trying to make this all functional around here as well so the mini figs can actually get to all of the apartment doors and get to the roof as well so that's it back round to the front so let me just take the uh, build top floors off and we can look on the inside So to do this, I've bought our wobbly cam. So let's appear inside. So um, this is just like a, a false balcony to make it look a bit like a, a log cabin, uh, which they sometimes have in these type of shops. I ran out of um, these little wooden circle tiles. Uh, so I've just put some brown ones on the end. So from ground level, that's what it would look like, which I think looks pretty cool. Uh, with just some uh, bits and pieces ready for purchase on the walls. Some of these bits came with the set I showed you at the beginning and some bits didn't, they just made up like those that shelf there is supposed to be just some kind of random supplies and then going over to the flower shop now because I've made this a little bit taller it's a little bit more difficult to see but there you go it's quite simple quite thin so it's hard getting everything in and um, so it might actually be easier to do it through the doors So that little flower arrangement there, that was from the Sesame Street, as was the um, sunflower in the back there. 
So, uh, yeah, let's look at the second floor. So every floor just pops off quite easily. Um, so with the flower shop, it's the I've, I've made it quite um, ornate on the outside. I wasn't 100% sure if I liked it. I thought it looked a little bit too much, but you probably wouldn't see this in real life. Well, I don't think you would in the UK anyway, but you might in some places. Um, but anyway, I thought it was a nice design. It's Lego and it's not real, is it? Um, so going inside, this is a really basic apartment with a bed, a TV, and a rubbish little couch with just two chairs together. As I said, it was really rubbish design, but I just wanted to fill it with something. And you've got the um, air conditioning unit on at the side. With I do like those um, hubcaps from the Speed Champions set. And then on this side, I've made it so you can put the bed away. So that's from the Parisian restaurant. We've just got a little lamp in the corner, bedside cabinet, a couch, TV stand and units. Can't quite show you it all. And then a little bit of a kitchen picture on the wall. So a little bit more detail than the other apartment. Um, but still quite sparse, I suppose. So let me put the roof on. And that's it with the roof. So those bits there are the um, grey tails from Unikitty to make that roof. And we've got these little elements on the top here, a little dove coop and uh, some kind of boiler heating air conditioning unit thing. And that's from Sesame Street. And the stairs take you over to the other roof, which has just got a little bit of a chimney feature, also from Sesame Street. And then going around from the back side, it, like I showed you before, it's just quite basic, but I wanted it to be uh, functional. So your minifigure can actually get to every room and every apartment, even the roof. Uh, with relative ease so pleased with that how that turned out so let me show you what it looks like in the city so here it is next to the fire station and next to the town hall I thought on the desk it looks like a pretty big modular but next to those two buildings it looks quite small now but I'm not going to take it away and add another floor. So that's it for now. This is where it's going to be located. Um, as you can see, I've still not filled the city up with vehicles or people from when I last cleaned it. Um, so I will do that in the, the near future. So let me know what you think of this modular. Let me uh, know if you think any ideas that I can implement to it, make it better, improve it in any way. And that's it. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And next time I've got anything to add to the city, I will let you know. Thank you and goodbye.